I made this saw years ago now to slice up some spruce trees that came down on our track and I haven't used it since. I took the engine off for another project and that was that and now years have gone by. How did that happen? Weird stuff time. But it's still here and now Will and I need it for a very important project. Sawing gunnels for the next boat. We ground off some of the rust, greased everything, found the right pulley wheel. What I really would like to do is <laughs> Put back the engine and tried to start it. Okay, uh, petrol on, choke on, accelerator on. Do we do it with a full accelerator? I don't know. Second pull on the handle. I think the engine was more surprised than I was. The car wheel is driven by a little belt, and there's nothing much holding it on there. It has to be gently eased into position and the engine slid away on a little frame to tension it. So far so good. Except this rocker box cover was leaking lots of oil. But some ordinary silicon fixed it. <laughs> we just tied tightening it up so it, it stops leaking. Ridiculous idea. <laughs> All the old guide bearings were rusted solid, so we replaced them with fancy stainless steel ones. I even found an unused blade. It was inside out though and needs sorting so it would run the correct way through the saw. I confused. I know what I have to do. You have to turn them inside out. Don't you? Oh yeah. Yeah, cutting in two. <laughs> no! Come on you silly thing! That's it, come on! Girl, just help me with that last bit. <laughs> Remember how it all goes together. It goes over there. It goes over there. <laughs> oh, it's trying to move the engine, isn't it? Yeah, uh, the tension here. Yeah. One of the tyres was flat, and the compressor's at the other end of the barn. <laughs> of course it is. There's a train. <laughs> right then, new bearings in place, engine running, Wickedly sharp blades spinning round wildly, everyone mildly terrified. <laughs> just where I want to be. Now, we just need a tree.
For some clever reason, which I've since forgotten, this is a fixed saw and the trees are pulled through it on trolleys. So we need to fix the tree very carefully and very firmly onto the trolleys. I've only cut short lengths before, ones that fit onto one trolley, but we need longer planks this time, and that means longer trees, and that means two trolleys in tandem. We took the opportunity to upgrade the fixings too. Each trolley has three dogs which grip the log. Two are fixed and these ones slide up along the pipe until they are wedged enough to grip the pipe. That makes sense? <laughs> yes, it does, Tim. How does it feel? Solid. Just the trolley. No. That's great. When the logs first go on, they need gripping at their waist, where the dogs have the most leverage. But then, after a few cuts have been taken off the top, the logs are flipped over, and this time the dogs need to be down as low as possible, so as many planks as possible can be taken before the blade gets too low. Water turned on, that's for lubricating and cooling the blade. Revs increased. Saw raised to starting height. And the first cut gingerly taken. And I tell you, it's very exciting to take each slab off and see what's inside. And it's different every time. I want to talk about these particular logs, but this video is already long enough, so I'll do that in the next one. But look, the old bandsaw is humming again. Noisy and smelly and quite scary, but working. How cool is that? <laughs>